What are you up to these days? We're playing country music out in the world, and I'm having a big time, big time, after all these years. Well, you wound up going on the road at age 13. Tell me how and why that happened. Well, actually, when I was 12, there was a, a, a gospel bluegrass band called the Sullivan Family Gospel Singers. Brother Enoch Sullivan, Sister Margie Sullivan, Brother Uncle Emmett Sullivan, Uncle Jerry Sullivan. They were church house uh, Pentecostal bluegrass stars. And they let me go on the road with them when I was 12 to play the mandolin. And our, my summer that year was, I got to leave home. I didn't have to cut grass anymore. And I found out uh, that I could wear my hair the way I wanted to, wear funny clothes. I met a lot of interesting people, could stay up late, and I got paid to hear applause. And we played Pentecostal churches, camp meeting revivals, and George Wallace campaign rallies. And so when that summer was over, I felt like the circus had dropped me off because I had to go back to school. And I was a pitiful excuse for a student. Did your parents have any reservation about letting you go on the road at age 12? I don't think they would have let me go off with just anybody. But this, was a, you know, this was a, a church environment, and so with, with reputable people. But it got a, the hill got steeper when uh, I got kicked out of school right after I went back to school in the ninth grade because I was reading a country music song roundup inside of my history book and the history teacher came up and said if you'd get your mind off of that garbage and get it onto history you might make something out of yourself. Smart Alex said well I'd rather make history than learn about it and said this miss. And I went and called a buddy of mine in Nashville who worked with Lester Flatt at the Grand Ole Opry and he invited me up for the weekend and Lester heard me play and he offered me a job that weekend. The Big Interview on Access TV.